Hi, and welcome to my bathtub. You're probably wondering why my hair looks like it's a greasy sink. Well, for one, it's been a week since I had my hair washed. Don't think it's gross. Because of my color, I can only wash my hair once a week or else it will fade very quickly. But I also have a system for how I wash my hair. And that's what today's video is going to be about. Because everyone keeps asking me, how do you keep your hair so vibrant for so long? And, well... My hair this time around has been staying so vibrant because of how I wash my hair. So it helps that I use the Illumin shampoo recommended by my hairstylist. I currently go to the hair factory here in St. John's. Heidi is amazing. She does fantastic work with my hair. And it's the Illumin dye that's in my hair, so I use the Illumin shampoo. And for my conditioner, I you just use Herbal Essences Color Me Happy. It does a pretty decent job. I don't really put conditioner on my whole head. It's usually just around my ends, which get really dried out a lot of the time. So, first things first, I need to get my water to the right temperature. The key with bright colors in your hair is to use cold water. I've found that if my water is too cold, my hair will get greasy a bit faster because I guess it's not getting a clean enough rinse. So I like to have it a nice kind of measure between cold and warm. So I start off with my hot water. Also, make sure you have a towel with you because it's going to be really hard to grab one when your hair is in your head. Flipped in front of your face. Okay, so the water's a little hot, like bathtub hot, bathtub hot. Um, so we're gonna cool that down a bit, get us some cold water. It's like a science, you kind of have to figure it out. And just remember that it's gonna feel a lot colder to your head than it is to your hand. So like kind of test it out a bit. It really is a science getting the right temperature for your hair. I think I'm okay. And then I just pull my head over. I'm just let me cry a little bit longer. I ain't gonna smile if I don't want to. I 
might be jumping into a full-blown shower. So what I'll normally do is try and squeeze out some water. And then I will braid my hair haphazardly. Just so it's going to be like out of my face a bit more when I'm showering and out of my way. And then it just kind of pops up like that. And then I stand up and have my shower. So yeah, that is how I wash my hair. Now I look a little funny. Um, as I'm not a hairstylist, so definitely talk to your stylist about your hair care routine when you're getting your hair done, especially if it's your first time getting bright colors or something really funky because they will be able to tell you the best products to use. When it comes to blow drying my hair, I tend to let my hair air dry. It keeps it from frying really easily. I have really healthy hair and I like to keep it that way. So minimal hair dryer use, um, mostly because I'm too impatient. So I'm like, I'm just gonna let it dry on its own. I rarely use a straightener unless I'm really dressing up or if my hair is really out of whack and having a bad hair day. And I don't own a curling iron, so I don't really put any other products into my hair. I just wash it once a week, usually every Monday or Tuesday, whenever I get a chance. Because I let my air, my hair air dry, I like to keep, um, I like to do dry my, wash my hair. I like to wash my hair on my days off. That way I can just relax and watch a TV show or something as it dries. But now I'm going to say goodbye and take off this bathing suit and finish my shower. But I will see you next time. Bye!